Hi guys. Long time, no vlog, no video, no nothing. I'm sorry that my steering wheel is literally like right in the way, but this is gonna be a short clip. So, <clears throat> I figured it'll be okay for just a few seconds, but it's kind of like, I never, I thought I would at least get like a couple videos up in December, but I literally did not. I think I posted one video in the month of December, and I'm sorry about that, but it's just been a rough few, like month. Honestly, pregnancy for me has not been exactly easy, so, but I am 100% grateful. I'm so happy. Um, but when we got back from New York, I pretty sure like I pulled a muscle in my back and it had me out like, I was in excruciating pain like through New Year's. Um, and then on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, I caught a cold. So for the past week I've been like battling that. Thankfully I'm pretty sure I healed myself pretty good, which I'm gonna share with you. I think it was a soup and rest, like, and I think my body was just really tired and sick, so the rest helped. But um, I will share a link to the soup recipe down below and I'll share how I modified it. I just added turmeric and I left out celery because I don't like celery, but if you like celery then leave the celery. Um, and I really think eating like three and a half to four bowls of that in one day like really helped me, that and the rest and lots of fluids. So I sound really bad, but I feel really good. It's Monday so we're doing the Monday vlog basically I feel like I should just make that a thing like on Mondays I vlog because it seems to be the day where I can vlog and it's mostly because I'm like leaving the house to go to the grocery store and it's not like too much work stuff um, it's kind of like just getting back into the swing of things um, so Monday vlog we're going to the grocery store and I am gonna pick Jay and I up some lunch. I just had some hummus and I had a smoothie. You guys, I'm trying really hard to be better. I'm terrified. I have to go in like two weeks to get my gestational diabetes test done. Um, everybody has to do that, I'm pretty sure. So I'm really nervous about that. Um, my dad has diabetes, so, and like his whole side of the family does. So either way, I'm quite nervous about that. I said this is gonna be short. We're going to the grocery store. I'm trying to eat a little bit better, not just because of the new year, but mostly because of the diabetes thing because it makes me super nervous. I really, not just for health related reasons, but mostly because I live on so many carbs uh, through this pregnancy that like, and in life in general, I'm a very carb heavy eater, but <clears throat> I would be terrified if I have to cut them out. So I'm trying my hardest to clean up my diet and do like a good, like 75% healthy, like 25 or whatever it would be um, unhealthy. So, but I need to stop stressing cause that's making it 10 times worse. And you know, you're only pregnant for nine months or whatever. You need to not be like stressed and um, <clears throat> worried about things and just do the best that you can. So, we've been going on walks and I'm trying to eat a little bit better, but <clears throat> either way, three minutes in, I gotta go because now I'm driving. Hi guys, okay, so I just got out of the grocery store. I drove over to Chipotle. I'm waiting to pick up my order for Jay and I for lunch. Um, I was talking about making better choices and then I literally bought these at Whole Foods. And they were really good. Um, I don't think they're that terrible for you. They're like obviously not the healthiest thing. No candy or junk food is healthy. Like if it's not a vegetable, it's really not healthy. I'm just kidding. But um, but I think this is like a better alternative to your average gummy bear, which I don't know why. Well, for one, I have always been somebody that preferred like <clears throat> sour candy over not chocolate, but I have just really loved sweets um, throughout my pregnancy and also carbs. So I got the sweet and the salty cravings. Um, I really haven't had any kind of craving, honestly. I think if I had to say I had one craving other than at the be beginning, I really, well, throughout the whole thing, I have eaten more pancakes than I ever have in my life. <clears throat> I usually did not like prefer pancakes. And then also, um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches so those two things but getting chipotle salad with chicken yes I get cheese and sour cream and I got guacamole and I got all the things but it's better than some options so <clears throat> green smoothie today some hummus some gummy bears and a chipotle salad and it's only one o'clock so you know whatever balance balance however everyone and their mother was in Whole Foods like 
I think it's the new year, like everybody is getting on this like healthy eating um, kick and people that usually don't shop there were shopping there and you could tell because they were totally lost and had like all of this off the wall stuff in their grocery cart. <clears throat> so that was fun. It took like twice as long as usual. So either way, I'm going to go get my food now. Okay, so I just got home from the grocery store and let me pull my hands up. I thought I would share a grocery haul. It's been a while since I've done one of these and this one is a little bit bigger than they usually are just because there are a few things I needed to get that I don't buy every single time. So let's hopefully make this quick and easy. I'm gonna show the meat first. So if you're somebody that doesn't eat meat or you don't wanna see raw meat, then skip ahead or close out. So. Diesel was also trying to get into the grocery bags. So. <laughs> I got some organic chicken breasts. I think I'm gonna make, Jay's also gonna get a preview of our dinner menu. I'm gonna make um, maybe some chicken tacos one night this week, or chicken taco salads is what I meant. Um, oh, this is grass-fed beef. I usually don't buy grass-fed beef. Whoops, 85% <clears throat> lean. I'm gonna make cheeseburgers. Also got some salmon and some organic uncured bacon. We also, I got these, these are tostada bowls. It's basically like a taco salad bowl. And I have purchased these before and they're good. So I'll let you know on the things that I have tried and what's good and what's not good. So whatever. <laughs> I got some bagels. I don't usually buy these, but my friend Tiffany is coming over for like to hang out on Thursday for like during the breakfast hour. So I got us some bagels to eat. These are things that, like I said, I don't use all the time, but I just happen to be out of. Um, chicken stock, chicken broth. I usually buy the organic ones. I like having these in my pantry on hand in case I need to like make soup. Like when I got sick, I happened to have one made soup. It was like really good. Also random recipes call for them. It's a good thing to just be stocked on. This is the body wash that I use. <laughs> I also got some yogurts. So I bought these last week. I bought one and they were really good. This is just coconut milk yogurt. They probably have different ones available at different locations. This is like the only one kind of that we have and it was really good. So I got two of those and I got two of the Maple Hill grass-fed organic vanilla yogurt. I got these last week and they were really good. I just like to make yogurt parfaits. I buy the Whole Foods. I'll show you what granola I buy. I'll show you. I bought these, I've never had these. They're called Parm Crisps. It's basically just literally Parmesan cheese, which makes me happy if you read the ingredients. Very simple. <clears throat> Dryer sheets. <laughs> I got some mini Baby Bell cheeses. I love those. Also like to keep these just organic canned mushrooms in the pantry because I like to add those to chicken dishes, pasta, anything. Super easy to have on hand and it's literally just organic mushrooms, water, and a little sea salt. Almond milk. I usually don't buy this kind but when I'm making smoothies and using it in my coffee and I'm using a lot. I hate to say it, but I'm cheap and I buy this one instead of the, I like the Malk, M-A-L-K. That's my favorite, probably the best, um, like limited ingredient one. I got two of these. If you see my grocery hauls, you know I really like those. They're just um, gluten-free oatmeal with brown sugar and maple syrup. I just, Pop these in the microwave, they're really good with blueberries added. So, got some blueberries, organic blueberries. Also got some organic refried pinto beans for the taco salad. And believe it or not, I have never had a Lara bar. So, I bought this one, chocolate chip brownie. I'm not sure how it's gonna taste. I'm usually not a fan of these kinds of bars unless they're like, the ones that taste good, and then in that case, they're loaded with a bunch of junk. Um, Diesel's drinking water, that's what you can hear. <clears throat> Organic strawberries. 
which these I'm happy to report look so much better than the ones that I bought last week. <laughs> I bought some Pico de Gallo, never bought that. Um, frozen blueberries to add to my smoothies in case I run out of these. Cause last week I actually ate my entire thing of berries. That never happens. I got a sweet yellow onion organic, organic cucumber to put on the bagels, <clears throat> organic lemons for water and seasoning the salmon. Organic iceberg lettuce for the tacos and the burgers. I just realized I didn't buy hamburger buns. Um, or tomatoes. Garlic. I also got some organic Brussels sprouts. I got two bags, they were two for five dollars. They're one of my favorite things. If you, I'll link below the recipe that I use. It's like a barefoot contessa recipe that I've modified just like a tiny bit. I don't even really follow it anymore. Um, but it's, I'm not a fan of like half, half roasted Brussels sprouts, but I love mine sauteed. I don't know what it is, but they taste different. They taste better. Uh, these are the eggs I buy all the time. They're kind of like stupid expensive, but these are the best quality eggs that I have gotten that aren't like local farm raised eggs that you can buy at the grocery store. Um, the insides are super orange. They're really beautiful. They're organic and they're pasture raised. And I always have a, like a bird of the month, which is cute. So, got that. I also like that brand of butter as well. <clears throat> Organic Valley milk because I drink milk like crazy um, now that I'm pregnant. Funny enough though, I don't like milk in my coffee. I like non-dairy milk in my coffee. <laughs> Cause I'm just weird. Um, I also got some organic jasmine rice. I keep this in the freezer, it's frozen. Um, but that is just really good to have as a side dish that you pop in the microwave for like five minutes and it requires no effort other than cutting the bag open and pouring it into a bowl and putting it in the microwave. It's like such a good tip for <laughs> just saving time during the week. I also like to keep organic green peas. Um, I use these in like all kinds of dishes, but mostly pasta. I love peas in my pasta, so I will keep those in there. And then when I'm making pasta, I'll put some peas in there. <laughs> and then organic steak cut fries. Love those with my burger. And then lastly, this um, Melanie's Medleys. I have bought this before. It's the triple onion cream cheese spread, small batch and um, it's just really good. So that's for the bagels, by the way. So that is it. That was a long grocery haul. It's eight minutes and 22 seconds and probably won't be sharing much else in this vlog because let's get along. But now I get to put all this stuff away. 